Zimbabwe's central bank has banned mobile money cash out and cashback services. It's also banned quoting in foreign currencies as part of the latest measures to clamp down on illegal currency trading. CGTN's Farai Mwakutuya has the details. In Zimbabwe, it's hard to find cash in the bank, but it's readily available on the streets where some mobile money agents have been selling it for a fee. Premiums of up to 65 cents on every dollar were being charged to swap banknotes for electronic funds. That thriving but inflationary trade is what monetary authorities are seeking to halt by banning the mobile money services. They need to be closed down because they don't do any work, yet they want a bigger share of my money, which I sweat for. On Tuesday, several agents didn't open, uncertain about how to proceed, leaving their clients in limbo. We are in need of money and we, we need are money. in need of money and, and we need the money. The what determines the percentage are the market forces of demand and supply. Demand so we negotiate a rate that's acceptable to both buyer and seller. No one is forced to trade. Zimbabwe Central Bank has rolled out a number of currency reforms, including banning the use of and quoting for goods and services in foreign currency as it tries to rein in parallel market trade. Not everyone is convinced that this latest measure will provide a lasting solution to the long-running currency crisis, and that's because they say it's addressing symptoms and not the root cause. We're too much dependent on imports as an economy, so there's a high demand for foreign exchange by everyone, whether it's in the informal sector or in the business sector. And in order for these people to access this foreign exchange, they need cash in their hands so they can go and buy this forex, right? So removing uh, uh, eco cash cash does not resolve the fundamental issues of this economy. It's a temporary measure. So people will use alternative means. Econet Wireless, which dominates the mobile money market with over 10 million registered users, filed an urgent high court application on Tuesday to have the ban lifted, arguing that it's indiscriminate and will affect millions of innocent subscribers. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.